Exactly. Well, speaking with Shinwa Jidagba, an expert analyst when it comes to cricket, he gave his views on the chances of the team, talking about the Under-19 World Cup. Yes, Nigeria have qualified for their first Cricket World Cup. Um, against all the odds, nobody gave them a chance from Division 2. They had to qualify to Division 1, where they faced top teams like Uganda, Namibia, Kenya, who were way ahead of um, the national team. But honestly speaking, uh, going to the World Cup for Nigeria is absolutely huge for us because um, nobody gave us a chance. But unfortunately, we have been pitted in a very, very difficult group where we've got countries like Australia, West Indies, and England. Our first game is on the 20th of January, and that will be history in the making where Nigeria will be taking on Australia. Australia are former champions and they are also losing finalists from the last edition. Uh, the next country we'll be facing is on the 23rd of January and that will be West Indies. And on the 25th of January, we are facing another team that won the World Cup before and that's England. Uh, but uh, like I've always said, cricket na biscuit because uh, not even the best mathematician in Pythagoras can break biscuit into two equal halves. So uh, on the basis of that, I expect the Nigerian team uh, to give their best uh, because uh, it's just their debut World Cup and anything is capable of happening. There could be surprises here and there. But hey, uh, if you are looking at uh, preparation, pedigree, and uh, those who have got experience, you want to say that all these teams have it better than Nigeria. Uh, we played a friendly game some days ago uh, against Pakistan, who are one of the teams participating at the World Cup also. And uh, they really, you know, gave us um, a cricket lesson. We were beaten by 10 wickets. We batted first, scored one and nine runs uh, for loss of 10 wickets in 30. 6.2 overs, while our opponent uh, uh, scored that same amount of runs with the loss of just one wicket. In defeat, you learn one or two lessons. But I know that we've got um, a squad that can ruffle shoulders with um, these top guys. Well, you've got players like Sylvester Alpe, who has played with the senior national team before. He's the captain of the side. Taiwo Mohamed also has played with the senior national team, but he's uh, within the under-19 age bracket, who is the vice captain. We've got Sulaiman Rusha, where you've got Peter Aho, Isaac Danladi, Abolani Rashid, you know, so these are guys that who want to go to the World Cup and, of course, leave an indelible mark. But on the basis of the teams they are going to be facing with their pedigree and their preparation, you want to say that Nigeria don't stand any chance of getting out of that group. But if we do, of course, that will be a miracle in its stead. And uh, the honest truth is, qualifying for the World Cup for us is absolutely huge. Nobody ever saw it coming. And uh, we can pick it up uh, from there. So I expect Coach Ute Ogbini and uh, every member of the team uh, to put up a spectacular performance. Even if you are losing, don't lose scandalously so that you give it a, a, a fight. But all in all, I feel that the Nigerian national team, uh, who are making their debut at the Cricket World Cup in South Africa, will go out there and, of course, um, give it a fight and uh, we can take it up from there. But let's not expect too much from these guys. I just want them to go and have fun. And the process of having fun, anything is capable of happening. Whoever thought we would qualify for the World Cup, nobody ever saw it coming. So the same way we qualify for the World Cup, we can also uh, make a shout at the World Cup. Thank you. Of course, the same way we qualified for the World Cup, we can go there and make a shout. Remember the amputee uh, Eagles, of course, uh, we never saw it coming. They qualified for their first ever World Cup, the amputee World Cup, and they got there and um, they made history by getting to win their first ever match.